Good morning. Thank you for allowing me to share with you today. I had every intention of being with you on Sunday morning. But then there is this impact of the, of the tornado in uh, Alabama, in Mississippi, in Georgia, and some parts of Arkansas. So devastating. So much property destroyed. People's prized possessions gone. Uh, 300 lives uh, lost and thousands injured. The good news is that most people heeded the warning. They heard Noah say that uh, it's going to rain and they were able to take cover and spare their lives. If this, for example, had been in the middle of the night as it was in the case of Katrina, thousands more would have been killed. Many people took cover and miraculously they, they survived. Uh, but they need the encouragement and, and they need our presence and we expect them to recover. Uh, there'll be a, a new Pratt City, there'll be a new Tuscaloosa involving the need to rebuild trade skill training. They'll need carpenters and brick masons and glazers and contractors. There'll be new opportunities. They've lost a lot of stuff, stuff you think you could never do without. They've lost the, the big clock, they lost pictures on the walls, they've lost uh, chairs and tables, but for the most part, they have each other children and parents and grandparents loving together. And to see black and white in this Birmingham function together, many of us here doing not just church work, but doing the work of the church. To see black and white, lion and lamb finding common ground, that's a, that's a glorious scene. This is the B Birmingham that was once called Birmingham. Now to see people finding each other a joy. It's clearly the tornado did not hit uh, bars and miss churches. Lion and lamb had to find common ground. The just and unjust alike were hit by this. But we see people moving in a wonderful way from racial battleground to economic common ground to moral higher ground. I'll be with you in, uh, in Houston uh, this Monday and Tuesday. We're having our, our economic uh, summit conference around the issue of energy. Uh, get gas moving towards $5 a gallon. Uh, we should have a right to jobs and contracts and financial services and a base for educating our children. And so we'll be at Texas Southern Monday and Tuesday, just $50 to register. You ought to be there because given the energy crisis and need for new forms of energy, we should be not just at the gas pump, but we should be upstream and downstream and be at every facet of the, energy, of the in industry. And so I want to express my thanks to you for excusing me today. I want to come back with you again once on the real soon, but for this day, I felt compelled to be with the people who are homeless, whose backs are against the wall, and who need help. As Job said, they feel they've had their worst fears, and yet they will not curse God and die. I hear someone saying, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. I know my Redeemer lives, he lives in my soul. And here we see faith in action, faith with legs on it. Faith in action is a wonderful and joyous thing to observe. Weeping may endure for a night. But if they hold on, they will hold on, joy will come in the morning. It will be morning time again in Alabama. Thank you and God bless you.